。十月二十九号是美国遭遇超级飓风桑迪袭击一周年的日子。纽约市博物馆举办了桑迪摄影展，再现了纽约市在桑迪飓风肆虐前后的景象。去年十月二十九号，直径达一千英里的超级风暴桑迪袭击纽约新泽西，造成两地经济损失六百三十亿美元，三十七万五千名纽约市居民被强制撤离，是有记载以来大西洋上最大规模的热带风暴。This storm was devastating because it was big, the waters were high, and it. Brought floodwaters to areas that were not prepared for it at all. 在桑迪飓风一周年之际，纽约市博物馆举办了 Rising Waters 桑迪摄影展，一千多位摄影师投来了一万多幅作品。展览现场集中展示了桑迪前后纽约地区的灾难场面。They also show through the eyes of so many photographers how you can use photographs as a way to tell a history. 展览大致由六部分组成：风暴、狼藉、旧印。家园、复苏、后患，这一系列图片几乎勾画出了桑迪登陆前后的全貌，描述了灾难与人与社会的关系。我们可以看到被洪水淹没的城市，被强风撕裂的房屋，无家可归的受灾住户，还有政府和民间应对天灾的举措。桑迪飓风呢，发生在去年的十月二十九号。那么在当天夜里的十一点钟呢，是飓风最猛烈的时候。可是我们在这个展览的现场呢，却发现这样一幅照片：有一个人呢，就在飓风最猛烈的时候出现在海岸边。那么照这幅照片的摄影师呢，就在我的旁边。让我们来请他分享一下当时什么样的一个情况。So hello, Anthony. So、uh, could you share something about the photo with us? Sure. I was in southern Brooklyn at the peak of the storm about 11 p.m. This gentleman was just sitting on the railing. He was getting hit by waves time, time and again. Eventually, both of me and him left, and he was totally wet. This was taken about 11 o'clock at night. There were surprisingly a lot of people out at that hour in、uh, the rising waters, which had come completely over the pier. I took this picture about probably two years before the storm, and this is in the middle of the winter, and the bay is. It's frozen there, but you can sort of see how it's supposed to look when when the weather is calm. 摄影展从十月二十九号持续到十一月二号，是纽约市博物馆与国际摄影中心合作的系列展览的一部分。系列展览主要展示各种与纽约市相关的历史瞬间。展览中有一个部分呢，叫 Not Over， 还没结束。它的意思是说呢，桑迪飓风余波未平。这里的照片呢，展示了形形色色的灾后重建工作。那么，其实直到上个月，仍然有一百六十五个家庭因为桑迪飓风失去住房而无家可归，仍然住在酒店里面。桑迪飓风已经整整过去了一年的时间。人们希望纽约和新泽西地区可以彻底的从灾难的阴影中走出来，让所有人都过上正常的生活。这是新唐人记者李大宇在纽约的采访报道。